For fans of both Godzilla and video games, finding a truly exceptional AAA Godzilla game has been an elusive challenge. Since the release of Godzilla Save the Earth in 2004, no title has fully captivated fans in that way. It's sad to say this, but it's very unlikely that we'll ever get a remaster or re-release of that game on current-gen consoles. As a die-hard fan of kaiju films, I have enjoyed some games here and there. For example, Godzilla Unleashed on the Wii, and even Godzilla PS4. Check out my retrospective for my full thoughts on that. But the search for a definitive Godzilla gaming experience continues. Looking ahead to the future, the announcement of Kong Survival Instinct under the MonsterVerse banner raises some questions. While it is exciting for Kong fans, Godzilla's role remains unclear. Will the King of the Monsters once again take a back seat to his simian rival? On top of that, it's not a fighting game, which I'm okay with. I've said in prior videos that I want more kaiju games that aren't just clones of Save the Earth. What if Legendary came to me and said, okay, we liked your pitch for continuing the MonsterVerse. Wink, wink. Go check that video out. Let's hear your pitch for a MonsterVerse video game. Now, first off, I should state that I tackled my previous pitches as a filmmaker, because I am one. I don't know anything about video game development. <laughs> Instead, I'll be speaking from the perspective as a fan and as a gamer, not as a creator. So, what is my dream video game centered around the MonsterVerse? Well, despite everything I said about Kong Survival Instinct, I would want this to be a fighting game, but not a direct clone of the Pipeworks trilogy. Instead, I think it would be neat if we got NetherRealm Studios involved. They're the studio behind Mortal Kombat and Injustice. Most importantly, they're owned by Warner Bros. We're going to essentially give them the reins and make something similar to those games, just with some added environmental destruction. It wouldn't be a 2D fighting game like the recent Mortal Kombat games, but would have a similar style as the Pipeworks trilogy or the 3D style of like Mortal Kombat versus DC. Basically what I'm getting at with the combat is, Think of that Pacific Rim video game on the Xbox 360 arcade store, but with better combat and better gameplay. We could have a story mode where there are destruction mini games, but for the most part, this is a fighting game first and foremost. And on top of that too, it's more or less for competitive play. I know that Gigabash already exists, but I want this to be different from that. When it comes to environments or stages, let's stick with locations that have already appeared in the films, like the Philippines, Japan, San Francisco, Skull Island, Antarctica, Washington DC, Boston, the ocean, Hollow Earth, Hong Kong, Rome, and Brazil. <sighs> the general idea that I have for story mode that I won't get too into is you would basically be replaying through all of the movies and the TV shows in the MonsterVerse, but with a twist. You could, in theory, pick any monster from the roster, and so as a result, you could see, you know, what if Kong was in Godzilla 2014, or what if King Ghidorah fought Mechagodzilla at the end of Godzilla vs. Kong. It wouldn't be an outright recreation, more just like, Okay, in this level, you're going to fight Mechagodzilla in Hong Kong. It's kind of like that type of setup. Speaking of, let's go to the roster. Now, remember, this is a MonsterVerse game. As much as I would love to include Gigan and Hedora, they haven't appeared in a MonsterVerse film just yet, and won't appear in this game. A lot of this is because of the rights and how it would likely cost them a lot to license them out. The only Toho monsters that will appear are ones that have already appeared in the MonsterVerse. So... Let's go. Looking at Mortal Kombat 1, the most recent release by NetherRealm, they included 22 playable fighters as well as 12 DLC fighters. And that's the exact same amount of characters that we will include in this game. I'm not going to go too in-depth on moves or combos or special attacks. If you do want to hear about that, maybe uh, comment down below. Let me hear your thoughts. But the goal is to make it as accurate to the films or comics or TV shows in regards to those combat moves. So Godzilla. This is the most obvious fighter. Of course he's going to appear in the game. The base design here would be the 2019, 2020, and 2024 design, the one before he evolved. But there would also be additional skins like 2014, Thermonuclear, and Evolved. Kong. Again. Super obvious. I'm thinking for this one, he would have the Beast Glove as well as the Axe. Warner Brothers currently has the rights to the 33 King Kong as well as Son of Kong, so let's add those as additional skins as well. The Mudos. These are the Mudos from the 2014 film, and I imagine that they would function similarly to Farah and Tor from Mortal Kombat X. The female Mudo would be more of a hulking mass, and the male would step in every now and then to unleash a rapid attack. 
All right, so from here on out, we are going to speed run the rest of the roster because otherwise this will be like an hour long video. Skull Devil, the Alpha Skull Crawler. This is the one from the end of Kong Skull Island. King Kidora, Rodan, Mothra, Methuselah, Sila, Behemoth, Leviathan, the Kraken, Amhuluk from Godzilla Dominion, Tiamat, Warbat, Mecha Godzilla, Ion Dragon, Frostvark, Scar King, Shimo and Suko as a duo, where Suko is just with Shimo during the intro and then the victory screen after the fight ends. Maybe we can have a move where, you know, Suko comes in as a combo, or maybe for Kong, you know, Suko can just appear and Kong will use him like nunchucks in a combo. I don't know. And finally, Parrot Frog and Doug, because of course Doug has to be in the game. The majority of these titans have already appeared in the films or TV shows, and if they haven't, then they were in the comics. I think this would be a great way of building up the supporting roster of the MonsterVerse. My biggest complaint with the MonsterVerse so far is that it really only feels like Godzilla and King Kong are the only monsters that really matter, so hopefully this is a way of building up the supporting cast and also just making the new and original monsters more interesting. Now let's talk about the DLC fighters. There's going to be two combat packs, each with six fighters. It won't be called a combat pack. We'll come up with something more original later down the line. But regardless, the first combat pack is going to be dubbed The Breach and will feature Pacific Rim Jaegers and Kaijus, three of each to be exact. Gypsy Danger, Striker Eureka, and Crimson Typhoon will be the three playable Jaegers in the game. Knifehead, Leatherback, and Otachi will be the three playable Kaiju. The reason as to why I picked these six is because those are the most memorable or relevant characters from the first and only Pacific Rim film. By the way, wouldn't it be so cool if they made a sequel to Pacific Rim? Like, that would be awesome. Anyways, as much as I love Cherno Alpha, I included Crimson Typhoon because it's a Chinese Jaeger, and if we want to sell this game in China, that would be a golden marketing opportunity. Beyond that, we would get a unique environment, the Breach, as well as additional skins for some base game monsters. Godzilla Kaiju Blue would give Godzilla the appearance of looking more like a Kaiju from Pacific Rim. There would be a Mecha Godzilla skin that makes him look more like a Jaeger as well. Pacific Rim is owned by Legendary, so it makes total sense to include it. It's a no-brainer. People have been clamoring for a Pacific Rim Godzilla crossover for years, so Let's give it to them in video game form. The second combat pack is going to be called the Wild Cards. Three of these will be public domain kaijus, while the other three will be somewhat random. The public domain ones will be Gorgo, Cthulhu, and Yangari. These are just sort of gimmies. Cthulhu is an awesome pick in and of itself, while Gorgo and Yangari are deeper cuts that the hardcore kaiju fans would enjoy. These are characters that are not copyrighted and can be used by anyone, so why not use them here? The random fighters, though, are copyrighted, but are owned by Warner Brothers or Legendary, so they're safe to use. They will be the Batmech, Green Lantern Robo, and Rock Matul. The first two are carryovers from the recent comic run of Justice League vs. Godzilla vs. Kong. Meanwhile, Rock Matul is a scrapped kaiju from an early version of Godzilla 2014. I doubt that we could license out Anguirus for this game, so this is the next best thing. And that is my pitch for a MonsterVerse game. The goal of this pitch is to essentially please a lot of fans while also being a money printer for WB and Legendary. I had so much fun writing this and just thinking about all the possible combinations of monster battles that we can make here, especially with the story mode because you can do a lot with it. If you liked what I had to say here, then go check out my pitch for the MonsterVerse and my pitch for a Godzilla trilogy if you haven't already ready. And with all that out of the way, I'm Cole McCormick, you're watching Firewood Media, and I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support lately. It has been crazy, so that's it. I'm just saying thank you, sincerely. Peace out, and I will see you in the next one.